What up guys, I have a jailbreak for you guys for iOS 5.1 for your iOS devices. Now this only works for your iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4 generation, 3rd generation and only iPad 1. Just to remind you, this is a jailbreak for a uh, tethered jailbreak only, not an untethered jailbreak. Tethered jailbreak means you have to actually restart your phone through your computer. So if your phone turns off for any other reason, you have to actually plug it into your computer and then restart it that way. It's more inconvenient than an untethered jailbreak, but this is the only jailbreak you have for 5.1. So if you really want to do it and upgrade or you accidentally did it, then this is the only way you can do it here is to jailbreak it this way. If you are currently on 5.0.1, I recommend staying on there. 5.0.1 is currently untethered and it's really simple. If you haven't done it yet, just check out my other videos. First you want to do is download uh, Red Snow. Check the link below for all the information and download links on the comments uh, on the box below. Just check it out and um, you can get this video started. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. You want to open Red Snow after you've downloaded from the website. Red Snow is real simple. We always use Red Snow to jailbreak our devices. There's a bunch of other applications, but we all prefer this one. When you open Red Snow, you're going to hit jailbreak. You want to make sure your device is off. Remember, this is only this is not for the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2. Once you when your device is off, this is how you're going to do it. Hold the power and home button down. Just keep holding it. Ignore everything else. Hold it down. When the screen turns off, you're going to let go of the power button, which is on top, and continue holding the home button, which is on the bottom. Just continue holding it. This is going to bypass the DFU mode. I found this really easy. On the screen, you're going to see that. Just continue holding it down. And once the screen shows up like this, then you're good. You can just go ahead and let go and let the red snow do its thing. You're just going to hold on to it. It's going to take a little while, but it's basically going through your device. Your screen's going to be off, but as you can see on the computer screen, it's going to be doing its thing. Just leave it, leave it, leave it. It might take a little while, so you can feel free to set your uh, phone or device down. Once it's done, you're going to uncheck whatever you want and you want to click whatever you want. You're obviously going to leave install Cydia. You can enable the battery percentage. I pretty much only click those two. And once you've decided what you want, just click next. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut and speed up the video for you guys so that way you guys, you guys can actually see the entire video. But once you click next, the phone's going to do its jailbreak and the red snow is going to help it out. Once it's done, your device is going to turn back on. You're going to want to open up Cydia to make sure it works and everything else. Open up Safari, open your text messages and all that just to make sure that it works. But once it's done jailbreaking, that's pretty much it. You're just going to open up your uh, Cydia and then it's going to work. Sometimes it requires a tethered jailbreak. So if you have a white icon like this, you're going to plug it back in to Red Snow. You're going to have to start up Red Snow and do what it's called a, a tethered boot basically what it means is every time the phone turns off you're gonna have to reboot this through your computer which is called a tether jailbreak in this case 5.1 is only currently a tether jailbreak just go ahead and hit click it boot tethered and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna be holding down your home and power button for about 10 seconds and once the screen turns off you're gonna let go of your power button and continue holding the home button so let's give this a try Once it's done, it's going to boot up. You're going to slide to unlock, and then you're going to see that your city icon is currently on. It's not white anymore. You can click it, make sure it works, but that's pretty much it. I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Make sure you subscribe for me and continue supporting me. And also like the video so other people can see it. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to leave any comments below, and I'm more than willing to help you guys out. Thanks.